Good morning, everybody. What's going on? Thursday morning today. Pretty sure today is Thursday. And the market is doing just fine. It's bouncing back. It's going to be a good day. We're going to make it through. I know we will. We've got AMC sitting at 22.96. We are up 1% after bouncing off the exact bottom that we had just a couple of days ago. Let's let's see if we can let's see if I can find this here real quick. The exact bottom, $20.80. Tapped it here, tapped exactly $20.80 this morning, and we've got a nice Dragonfly Doji right here, which if we close right in this area and we get this Dragonfly Doji, it could be a very good sign that we are going to be bouncing back from here. Very similar to this candlestick we've got right here. So hopefully that's what we end up with on AMC, but bouncing back very nicely right now and hopefully we can continue that action. Very strange though that it bounced off the exact low that it hit just a couple of weeks ago or, or a few days ago, whenever it was. We got Frank. First, in the chat, as always, Saif, what's going on, man? Crypto Rockets here, Kyle G, Saif, Nick, good morning to you, Nick F, Paul Wright, Lons, how you doing? Ugandan Toad, what's going on, that one dude? Kelly Scott, Crypto Rockets here, Ugandan, Outdoor Smile, what's up, Doc? AMC Trapper, how you doing, man? Hopefully you're having a good day so far. Better than the market, but the market is bouncing back. You know what I forgot to do? Fill this water up. Darn it. Barely get any water for this morning. It's going to be all right, though. Yo, King Larry Sr., how you doing, man? Hopefully you're doing pretty good. We've got, let's see, let's see where we're at with all this other stuff. We know AMC's up about 0.75% this morning, 22.92. Shiba, trying to stay above 3,000 points per coin. Trying, trying, trying its best. Sitting at 3,004 points per coin right now. Prague sitting at 204, almost 205. Dude. Prog bounced down to a buck ninety one this morning. A buck ninety one bouncing all the way back up to two hundred five already. Volatility is real these days, guys. GameStop bounced down to I think a hundred and twenty one. Yeah, one hundred and twenty one dollars per share, sitting at one hundred and thirty one right now. And Nasdaq bouncing back. The Nasdaq was down, I believe, over a percent. Now it's up 0.14 percent. Farmy sitting at 2441. GameStop 13167. Prog 204. AMC 2305. Now back above 23. That's good. Crypto having a very hard. <coughs> crypto having a very hard day today. Hopefully that turns around. And my boy Rocket did very well in Cassava Sciences. There. Sundial was down over 5 percent. Now it's back up to break even on the day. So things are looking better. AMC Trapper says, Trapper, what's going on? Yo, Clay. Yo, what's up, Clay? John Maxwell, how you doing, man? Where's the coffee mug? Uh, outdoor Smile. Very good question. I've not brought coffee up here, actually. So I've not had the coffee mug up here. What's happening, bro, fam? Crypto NFT Trapper. Oh, that's why I said Trapper. Crypt Crypto NFT Trapper, how you doing, man? Bro, fam is doing excellent. Part one question. Right out of the gate, say I hypothetically put together a huge email about this prog pill and what it could do for the fitness space, macro tracking, metabolism, pacing, test pills, that kind of thing. Go on, will you? Go on. Let go, Clay, bro. Edgar Guerrero, man. Let's go. It's going to be a good day. Hello, all you amazing apes. Frodo, good morning to you, man. How you doing this? How you doing today? Hopefully, you're having a good morning. Better than the market, but the market is not doing too bad right now. Farming sitting kind of sideways over the last, really, 10 minutes. No volume whatsoever. No price action. And then AMC bouncing back up above $23 per share. That's good. We came down here, touched the exact low at $20.80. My gosh, look at that support line we had. If I would have put it on the dead on, on that last low, it would have been, would have been crazy. Support line really held up there. Now we're trading sideways. Hopefully, we do not turn and we go back to the upside now. Uh, let's see. Wait, you should check out BK, BK, BKBX stock. That one dude. What's going on, BKBX? Go on. Outdoor smile. Go on. I will. Clay, this year, February 22nd, 2222, falls on a Tuesday. So, will we be able to call it a Tuesday 2022? It's already winning. Yes. Saif. I did not realize that 2 2 22 falls on a 2's day. That is pretty cool, actually. Oh, BKBX, 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 BKBX. BKBX doing, man. It's a coin? Or it's a stock? I don't even know where that went now. Where did the chat go? 
Oh, BKBX stock. I mean, see BKBX, man. I don't see that. Uh, destroy your liver TRT easily taken by the masses of people who need it. The ability to tackle obesity like never before. Sent this to a large fitness icon scientist. Would any legalities keep them from speaking freely about their thoughts about it and how it could change the game? And do you think anyone would be willing to discuss it privately and or publicly? I'm going to tell you right now, dude. Uh, I like the way you pose that question. Because would any legalities keep them from freely speaking their mind about their thoughts about it? If the answer to that question is yes, this is not a place that I want to live. So you should be able to speak your mind about whatever you want, whenever you want. So I don't think there would, honestly, I don't think there's any legalities that would say you can't speak your mind on that. Um... I guess if it was stolen information or something, there there could be something about it, like some causes for concern there. But I don't think that uh, I don't think it's stolen information. So I think you're good, man. Uh good. You sure saw that one. Do you think it's a good time to load up on Shiba and other crypto, John? Yes, if the Fed stops making a big deal about inflation. If, if we continue to have people scared, and by people I mean investors, if we continue to have investors scared about rising inflation rates, no, I do not think it's a good time to buy just yet. I think we're going to see a further dip. If they stop being scared about inflation, yes, it's probably going to be an excellent time to buy. Oh man, this, this is back down to 88 cents. What is the coin? Costa, Costa, 87 cents right now. Coming down from the $2 high Crypto Rocketeer. Did you get in, Crypto Rocketeer? Yes or no? Was it 80 cents this morning? Nope, that's yesterday. Was it 80 cents yesterday? Now it's sitting at 88 cents right now. 10% gain just since yesterday. For Clay's sake, smash that like button. Shitsu Inu, thank you very much. And that is correct. Sorry, guys, the microphone was over there. Did not realize that. Now, hopefully, the audio sounds a little bit better. Uh, BLBX, BLBX, BLBX. Okay, BLBX is what he meant. Let's see what BLBX is doing. Black box stocks. I don't even know what black box stocks is. Black Black Stocks having a very difficult time right now. Down from... Had it recently. No, then just recently IPO did it. Dang, dude. This is a dangerous stock, man. Well, here's the deal, man. You're, you... I, I still think you're a little expensive. You're sitting right here at the top of this support level. So, actually, if you do bounce off of it, pretty good time to buy this stock. Otherwise, $2 range. $2 range is where you could really look at getting into it at. But I'm going to be completely honest. The stock has like no volume, man. This is on a weekly graph. This is on a weekly graph, dude. And you're trading 1,800, 300 shares a week, 4,000 shares a week. A little bit better here with 2 million shares being traded a week, but... This is dangerous. I mean, look at these days here. 100 shares traded. I, I wouldn't play it. I mean, you can if you want, but... I don't think that... I don't think you got enough volume. Uh, let's see what we got here. It just jumped on. Did you see the tweet from Adam Aaron? It just posted... No, I did not, Dominic. No, I did not. Let's see if I can pull that up here in a second. I need some positive feedback. Is it a good time to get into meta, or should I get in as it's going up? Uh, Saif, that's up to you. Are you talking about the meta coin, right? I think it's a decent time to get in right now, I, but I, I don't know, man. Like I say, cryptocurrency is going to have to have a lot to do with what's going on with the Federal Reserve and inflation right now. So I would be a little skeptical of adding right at this moment, knowing that we could be battling inflation here. 
Uh, not a pasta. No money if you don't understand Spanish slang. Thank you, Crypto Rocketeer. I do not understand understand Spanish slang. So not a pasta. I did not know that, that meant that you didn't have any money to go out there and and buy cryptocurrency. Hundred shares. Nice, Crypto Crypto Rocketeer. You get a hundred shares of Costa. Is that what you're saying? Smash the like button on my way in. Good morning, Clay Brown fam. Cassie, good morning to you. Better buy NFT coin. It's better than Shiba. Enzio likes NFT coin. What was I just going to look at, man? Not for you what I was just going to look at. It's all right. We'll sit here. We'll sit here with this. I forget what I was going to look at. Was I going to look at a crypto? I don't even know. Man, I overslept and missed the dip. NT. I'm telling you, man, this morning, I don't know where you're at. I don't know how you were sleeping so late, but uh, this morning, yeah. Stock's getting ripped early morning. You got to turn your notifications on or something because AMC down to $20.80. Prog down to $1.91. We had a lot of declines going on this morning. And we are bouncing back pretty nicely from those dips right now. So $1.91 on Prog, $20.80 there. Shiba Inu coin dipping down into the 29s last night. Down here, boom, 29.30. GameStop dipping all the way down to 121 Definitely a lot of volatility going on today. And I, I, I know it's got to be related, related to the Fed. It's got to be related to the Fed. All right. You guys can barely see that graph anyway, but it's all right. We're good to go. Oh, uh, Adam and Tweet. Uh, that's what I was going to be looking at. AMC Trapper paying attention. My goodness. I love it, AMC Trapper. I love it. Ah, oh, crap. And I got to sign in. What's my, what's my Twitter login? I can remember what my Twitter login is. I'm pretty sure. It's true. How is that incorrect? Twitter's Claybro883. Okay, we'll do that in a second. Not necessary. It's definitely not going to be necessary. Somebody's got to tell me what this tweet was. Glad to finally be hopping in. Blowing leaves frozen to the ground makes your hands pretty hard. Hard like diamond hands. Not for real, though. Being in this cold makes me want to get hold even more. Very good, Chris. I like it. Uh, let's see. Somebody tell me what Adam Aaron said because I'm going to have to log into this afterwards. Use my phone or something to figure that out. Let me contact Clay. Thanks for what you do. Jesse Sanchez, thank you very much. Question, Clay. Feel free to say no, but on the off chance, I was able to get someone to actually be willing to have an adult science talk about it. Would you be down? What, on here or where? I mean, dude, I guess it, it would depend on who it is. I don't care. I don't know too much. I, I, I can't discuss science with them. Uh, is your password password? No, it's definitely not password. Hi, bro. Yeah, man, that says that's what it said. And asked me for my username, and that's what my username is, but it said incorrect. Do caps matter? There's no way caps matter.
Got him! Got him! Alright, sweet. That worked. Alright, perfect. My gosh. Now we can. All right, now we're back. No, I, w I needed to log in anyway. Basically, Shiba and Doge are still on track to be used at AMC soon. Okay, thank you very much for summarizing the tweet there. Uh, it's negative 11 here, and honestly, I don't think it was that bad outside. Quentin, that is bad, man. Negative 11 is terrible. Adam Aaron just said, AMC going to start accepting Shiba and Doge in March. Very nice. James, thank you very much. My end game goal would be a Dr. Eric Helms. I would cry to talk to him. I don't even know who that is, man. Google saves your passwords. Well... Apparently it worked. I don't know what I did the first time. In Twitter, caps matter, I think. Well, I got it to work. I don't know. I've been repeatedly asked when AMC expects to routinely accept Dogecoin and Shiba Inu for any and all payments made via the AMC website and mobile app. I am being told that we are still well on track for the Promise Quarter 1 implementation with exact timing, most likely in March. Crypto Rocketeer, man, thank you very much for hooking us up. Even though... I still got it, man. I still got it. Didn't Elon paint Doge on a space rocket? Or was that Photoshop? I did not see it, but I would imagine that's Photoshop. It's one degree here, and it feels like negative 19 wind chill. It's 20 here. Dang, dude. Never knew Ohio was so hot. Well, that's it. Stream over. He rolled the credits. See you all this afternoon. No, dude, I had to because I had to turn the phone on silent before you guys all yelled at me. So last week from Adam Aaron, thank you very much, Lucas. Please accept our apologies. We're suffering technical difficulties. We are back now and ready to go. Uh, quick, check out the vid I tagged you in on Twitter. James, I will. Not going to play it right now, though, because I don't want to get anybody mad at me for playing their video during my stream. Yeah, we're negative 34 here in my... There's, I get it. I get to confirm you guys on this weather because you guys are talking nonsense. Negative, negative 34 wind chill? Gotta be negative 34 wind chill, right? Because I'm seeing negative 4 degrees in Billings, Montana. Wherever the heck that is. Uh, she be taking Claybird to the next level in 2022. Let's go, change. Let's get it, man. She going to make you rich. Just need to open short positions. No, no, no. We do not short Shiba Inu coin. Taco Thursday. Boat bum. That sounds like something I'm interested in, man. Should I invest in Shiba or Metapets? Yes, daddy. Yes. This dude's name Daddy, man. I got to call this guy Daddy. Oh, boy. Password, Iron Man, Hulk, Spider-Man, Strange Vision, Bucky, Star-Lord, Hawkeye, Sacramento, eight characters, and a capital. Is that like your entire password is that phrase? Or is there like I'm using the first letter on there? Or what's the deal? 28 here, Memphis, Graybeard, very nice. Fahrenheit, 52, F, Fahrenheit. Yes. Ever heard of a 3D muscle journey or Omar, or ever heard of 3D muscle journey or Omar Isuf? No. Eric is a big name in the science spaces for bodybuilding studies research. He has a podcast with Omar Isuf if you know him. Do not, man. Do not. Pretty chill here in Tampa. Should be 77 today. Outdoor smile. I want 77 degrees, man. Yes. Wind chill. Gotcha. John makes sense now because negative four is what I'm showing there. 41 here. Who's got the best weather? Right now, Tampa wins. 77 degrees, sunny. 
If it's raining, outdoor smile. Somebody else can take that. If it's raining, 77 and sunny might be the, the winner on weather today. Stax Ape Nation. Thank you for the super chat, Stax Ape Nation, man. How's it going? Hey, Stax Ape Nation, man. How's it going? Stax Ape Nation. How's it going? Thank you very much for the super chat, Stax Ape Nation. Absolutely appreciate it. And I do want to know. How's it going, Stax Ape Nation? Holy unicorn, JP. Yes, Outdoor Smile saw his picture. Finally, Sarah Destacroy. I just bought some Sheba on the dip. Very nice, Sarah. I love it. Market recap. Market recap from yesterday, this morning, or what? Mainly dealing with the Federal Reserve is why we're seeing the, these declines right now. Billings is Western Montana. I'm in Northeast Montana. Okay, John Maxwell, very good. So I don't know if the I don't know any cities in Montana, man. Sunny, dang, Outdoor Smile might be winning on the weather. And negative eight in Aurora, Minnesota. Frank, we are losing, man. We are losing. Hello, sir. I am Abisk from India. Uh, Ab uh, Abhisek from India. My question, Shiba can delete two more zeros. Uh, yes, yes, my friend from India. It can, but it's going to take a lot of time to do so. So in un in, in order to 100x from where we're at right now, we're going to be looking at like a $1.5 to $2 trillion valuation on Shiba Inu coin, and that's going to make it worth more than Bitcoin. So it can do it, but we're either going to need to burn a lot of tokens or we are going to need a lot of time for more money to flow into the cryptocurrency market. But so it's not going to be easy, but it can. Snowed in, Colorado weather going apes. Oh my gosh, Stax Ape Nation snowed in. That is terrible. How much snow does it take to get snowed in? Hood mumbling. I got to call this man Daddy King King Larry. His name is Daddy, dude. I got to call this guy Daddy. Like, what? It's true. I have family in Montana, but I have never been to the state. Cassie, very nice. I have never been to Montana. I want to know. Where's my poll button at? Where's my poll button? Because... I feel like it's going to be a very low percentage. Ah, where are we at? Where's my pull button? Oh, there it is. Okay. Pull initiated. And the baby face AMC ape. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. Babyface 8, man. Hmm. Thank you very much for the super chat. Absolutely appreciate that, Babyface 8. Let's turn that up one more. We're good to go here. Get some dollars in Cardano or Ethereum before it's too late. Might go lower before it rockets. So, PDA, public displays of affection. Stop messing around with cute dogs. Yeah, stop that cute dog stuff. Get some Cardano or Ethereum. If you wish, maybe smile. Twenty-three votes. I, I guarantee, like, this is gonna be a very high percentage of nos. It's gotta be, very high percentage of nos. Yeah, ninety-six percent. If I could answer, I would also answer no. I've never been to Montana. I think Montana, North and South Dakota. Very, very few people have been there too. But I think Montana, man. Who's going to Montana? I don't know. Not anything bad about Montana, but I'm just saying. Have you ever been to Montana? 96% say no right now. A guess in a getting reported to HR was directing some idiot co-workers, and one came up and shoved me from the back to complain, and this dude knows how I'm not the guy to do that to. Ooh. Chris, it happens, man. It happens. Did you guys like get into a big old fist fight, or what's the deal right there? I hope everybody's okay. You're good to go. Oops, CDA. What does CDA mean, man? I don't even know what CDA. I thought it was public service announcement. No, I don't know what CDA means either. PDA, CDA. I watched Hannah Montana. Does that count? 
Yes, it does, because you get the best of both worlds. That's, I don't know the song. Chris over here, like, I haven't paid, I haven't played my rent in three years. You think I'm afraid of you, pal? No, Chris hasn't paid his rent in three years. He's not afraid of anybody. Cost dollar, okay, dollar cost average is what I would have said. Dollar cost average, cost dollar average. All good to go. Yes, if you want to get in your Cardano, Cardano, and your Ethereum, get your dollar cost average going on, and pick up some coins, man. Uh, you guys are missing out. It's a very beautiful state. Christopher, I, I believe it, man. I believe it. Just never been there. We got 46 votes. What's the percentage no's? We're going to end this so I can actually see the chat again. 90% no's. My goodness. Guys, hurry up. Get your vote in if you want. We're going to see if we can raise this above 90%. It's at 89 right now. And I'm ending the, the thing. Very easy question. You should know whether or not you've been to Montana. Very easy to click that button. So let's end this. End that poll. 89%. <whistles> I have been through Montana, western Montana, and the mountains is beautiful. I drove through a cloud there once. Now, Frodo, that just sounds like a delight. I'm going to tell you right now, man. I would like to drive through a cloud. I've driven through some fog. I don't know if I've ever driven through a cloud. That just sounds beautiful, man. Hey, bro! Your Twitter have any underlines before your name? Antonio Carlos Andrade. No, it does not, man. That dude is fake news. And you will notice that every single one of his tweets says, retweeted. Claybro at a three. Retweeted. Claybro. So, no, that's not me. That, that dude's fake news. Uh, Western Montana, very beautiful. Eastern Montana, not so much. Interesting. I don't know what either one looks like. Uh, why is everything dipping? Clowny, everything's dipping right now because the Federal Reserve released their minutes yesterday, and a lot of people are concerned about inflation. So we didn't get any news that we did not have at the Federal Reserve, the FOMC press conference a couple weeks ago when Jerome Powell was talking. But just to summarize it, they are saying that inflation is likely not due to just supply chain issues, and it might be a little bit more in-depth and a little longer term of a battle than just getting the supply chain kinks all worked out, and then prices are going to go back to normal and stabilize once again. They think that they may have printed a little bit too much money during the COVID relief, and it's, it's going to be battled by raising interest rates. Now, if it turns into a long-term battle, man, and things start to get out of hand, then you are going to see some continued declines. Hannah Montana, I've been there. Been there, done that. Crypto Rocketeer, nice, man. Hey, Clay, do you think Bitcoin is a hedge against inflation? No, I, I really don't, man. I mean, you can see right now, Bitcoin's coming down when, when people are concerned about rising inflation. So I don't think it's a hedge against inflation, man. A lot of people think that it might be because it's a pretty stable coin, but I'm going to say no. Uh, hey, bro, thanks for the information, a video, informative informational video regards to the Fed and inflation. Kalani Nate, thank you very much. Absolutely appreciate that. Yellowstone is on my bucket list, but it's sometime when it's warm and sunny and not too many people are there. If anybody's been to Yellowstone, what's the best time to go? Because I've never been and we need to know for Cassie. Adria Perez, thank you very much for the super chat. Good morning, all. And of course, my boy Clay feeling better already being amongst my eight family. Adria, thank you very much for being in here. We're so glad to have everybody in here. My God, isn't it funny? Isn't it funny? We've got like just so many different people from so many different places and yes, Adria is, Adria is exactly right. We got the eight family. We got the bro family in here. And that's what it feels like, too. It does. Outdoor Smile saying something. I didn't see what the Outdoor Smile said. No bueno, AMC Trapper. Darn it. Uh, plot twist. Clay just super lacking in creativity, make, I mean, making fake followers for himself on Twitter. And it's actually just him trying to bump his retweet numbers. It's actually not a bad idea, man. I don't know how I could get a fake account up to 1,500 followers, though. I can't even get mine to three. It's crazy. The altitude of the mountains, are you are very high up, so the low-lying clouds come in and start moving through the small valleys that the highway moves through. Oh, my gosh, Frodo. Are you describing, like, a scene from a movie right now, or are you describing western Montana? Because I want. I want what you just described. No way. Printing money, crypto racketeer. Yes way, man. Yes way. I guess printing trillions of dollars may have been, well, 
we're seeing the repercussions printing trillions of dollars uh i don't recommend vaping on a mountaintop while snow skiing outdoor smile i don't recommend vaping on the ground like not on a mountaintop even if you're not snow skiing I think Bitcoin could be a hedge against inflation when we, when the price tanks and no one knows where to put their money. In that, yes, Quentin, in that scenario, yes. But I do think that like it, out of control inflation will not make the price of Bitcoin go up. I think the price of Bitcoin will go down with out of control inflation. Yellowstone depends on what activity. Summer is for fly fishing and winters for snow machines. Well, she did want she did want warm weather. I don't know if she plans on going fly fishing, but she did want warm weather. Indonesia is crazy for diamond handed baby doge. Realize his cuts, baby doge, huh? Clarinho, nuestro brotinho, numero unino. What up, people? What's going on, Mr. Simon? You're my brother number one. One, one, one. That's eleven, eleven. Free tacos will increase followers. It's a good idea, man. Should I give you guys free tacos for following me? Unfollow me afterwards. I know you would. Beartooth Pass is around 13,000 feet. Most of the mountains here are around six to 7,000. Christopher, that sounds like a very large mountain, man. What's up? Renji! What's up? Sir, I missed Shiba Inu rally. Which meme coin replaced Shiba Inu? None. None have replaced Shiba Inu yet. Gosh, I really have any water in there. This is terrible. Um, a lot of people, and you're reading a lot of articles saying that this coin is the next Shiba Inu coin, that coin is the next Shiba Inu coin. Maybe, I mean, you might find coins that do 5x or 10x, but they're not the next Shiba Inu coin. Shiba Inu coin is not just a meme coin at this point. You know, they've got people developing a actual AAA graphic games for them. They're working on a lot of different projects. And Shiba Inu coin gained over 47 million percent in a one year period. These other coins are not doing that. They're, they're not. Fake Clay Bro is better. Just accept it. Pugnacious. The dude's got game, man. The dude's got game. I'm telling you right now. I'm, I'm telling you. Like, I don't know where he finds the time of the day to, to send everybody direct messages. To continually retweet all of my tweets, that's got to be manual. You know, he's got to go in there and click that button um, to block people who are calling him out as being fake. And and all of the things that he does, dude, it takes time to do that. It takes time. So, the dude is working. I'll give him that, man. The dude is definitely working. Nancy Foley, I live in Tampa. I love it. Very nice. Adria, beautiful weather down there today, Adria. 77 degrees and sunny. That's what's up. Grandpa Barney. What's going on, Grandpa Barney? Dude, that was a scene from my life. I was driving. God, I want your life, man. What's your life, Frodo? I was driving from Portland, Oregon to the up, upper peninsula of Michigan and drove across Montana. There is a lakeside town up in the mountains of western Montana that was crazy. I gotta go there. Frodo, I gotta go there, dude. I gotta go there. I live in Kalispell, Montana, next to the Glacier National Park. You need to travel going to the Sun Road through the park life, park, through the park, life-changing. Okay, travel going to the Sun Road through the park, life-changing. Jeff, I, I'm going to be honest, guys. Like, Ohio's not too bad, but I've never described any drive that I've had as life-changing. Montana sounds like a really nice place. I'm not even going to lie about that. Montana sounds really nice. Cassie, you are correct. It just crossed over. Montana is free of that pile at the bottom of the hill. I'm not sure what you're talking about there. Uh, let's see. I missed the part one. Can you explain something for me before it's too late to ask? Inflation means money volume goes down, right? So how is it there any place that's safe if the value changes wouldn't it change everything and trickle out, so to speak, and kind of reach an equilibrium in all spaces? Or where are the cuts in the line? You give the free spaces. Oh, okay, not exactly sure I understood the cuts in the line thing. But inflation, it, inflation just means like, okay, so this bottle of water, let's just say I paid $10 for this water bottle last year. This year, I'm paying $11 for this water bottle. Now it's more expensive this year 
for, for no reason. It's just more expensive, right? Now, they take a basket of goods and determine the average, and let's just say the average does come out to 10%. I'm paying $11 when I was paying $10 last year. It's a 10% increase. That means that inflation is 10%. We're paying more for goods and services this year than we were last year. Now, they were originally thinking that the inflation was because there are less water bottles. Supply chain's all backed up, messed up. The, the stores can't get water bottles in. And all of a sudden, we have to pay more for this water bottle for the stores to make the same amount of money and the water bottle manufacturers to make the same amount of money. It was a supply chain issue. Now, they're kind of thinking, oh, well, you know what? Maybe it's not just a supply chain issue, but the fact that all of you guys now have thousands of dollars and can compete to buy this water bottle, which before, maybe only I could afford. Now, everybody can afford it, and everybody wants to go out there and buy this water bottle. Therefore, the water bottle company can charge $11 for this water bottle instead of $10 for this water bottle. So because everybody has more money, everything is getting a little bit more expensive because everybody can afford more. And I know, you might be sitting out there right now thinking, well, shoot, dude, I don't have any more money than I had last year, and so on. But there is more money in the economy. Okay? And that's the theory behind it. Not, not just you specifically, right? But that's the reasoning why goods and services are, are more expensive. That coupled the supply chain issue. Inflation 101. Did it make sense to anybody? If it didn't, I'll say it again. If it did, round of applause. Grandpa Barney! Thank you very much for the Super Chat, Grandpa Barney. Public notice from Grandpa. Perfect. I'm down 50000 and Grandpa is still buying this is the time to support, lift, and love each other. We are good. Facts, facts. Grandpa Barney, facts, man. We are good. It down 50, and we were at $20.80 this morning, bouncing back on AMC. I'm telling you right now, everything is getting ripped because of the Fed, okay? It's not because AMC is doing bad. It's not because GameStop is doing bad. Not because Shiba is doing bad. It's because of the overall implications and the external factors out in the market right now putting pressure on riskier assets. It has nothing to do with each of these individual assets. So you are right, man. Stay positive, support each other, and know that we are good. The most beautiful countryside that I have driven through, and thank you very much, very much, for the Super Chat, Grandpa Barney. Absolutely appreciate it. Uh, it was northern Utah, east of Salt Lake City. Damn, man. Has anybody ever driven through Ohio? Like, where would you rate that? Where would you rate driving through Ohio on your list of most beautiful countryside that you've ever driven through? Probably, like, the very bottom. Crush that like button like Clay crushes on Lauren. Save! That's what I'm talking about, man. Crush that like button like a, like a crush on Lauren. Heck yeah, Grandpa Barney. Boom! Grandpa Barney is right. Support each other, guys. We love our Grandpa. I, too, am buying this dip, Grandpa, but only a little bit that I can afford. Very nice. Frodo, being responsible. I love it, man. To extend the water metaphor, say it's all connected with lines and one lesson... And one lesson, it would flow less everywhere, but to find a space that's safe, one line would have to be cut off somehow to keep it unfazed. Okay, to extend the water metaphor, let's say it's all connected with lines and one lesson, okay, one lesson, one, one actual water line, lessons, and it would flow less everywhere, but find a space that's safe, one line, gosh, man, I don't even know how I got this. It would have to be cut off to somehow keep it unfazed. I still don't know if I follow, man. I still don't. I know you're probably frustrated. Like, this dude's an idiot right now. I'm not following this, but I still don't know if I follow the metaphor. Are we talking about actual water lines, like plumbing? I can follow a plumbing metaphor. I just don't know if that's what we're talking about right now or not. <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> ah! Ohio is the armpit of America. Well, you know what, man? Some people like armpits, dude. I'm not one of them, but some people like armpits. Only been to Ohio either driving to Kings Island and each year of high school, we went to Dayton for Drumline Nationals. Chris, very nice, man. Did you like it? Probably not. I've driven through Ohio, Clay, and it gets a solid four. Oh, dang, dude. Wow, that's pretty freaking lame. <clears throat> Devil's Advocate, I may, I may have overextended myself, oh, but I like the price. I must say, this truly could be life-changing play. Mitch! Mitch is in Prague now. Mitch is in Prague. I like it. Where's Denny? 
We need some rage, but we do need to. I saw Denny in here yesterday, and I have not seen Denny in quite some time. So I don't know where Denny's at today. But Denny, man, if you're in here, we do need some rage buying. Although, Ohio around the Great Lakes would get a 6 or a 7. 6 or 7, man. I guess a 7 is pretty acceptable. 6? Uh, dude. 4? Solid 4? Frodo. It's upsetting, man. Uh, I drove through Ohio on a tour bus in high school. All I remember is houses so close together uh, and like the giant Navy ship somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where you saw giant Navy ships. Oh, gosh. I don't know where you saw giant Navy, sh Navy ships, but, dude. Crazy. Crazy. Started crypto trading last week of October, and 900 of my own money invested in the week of Christmas. I finally made my first 4,000 crypto, thanks to Crow. Oh, but this crash has me down almost 700 bucks. Lando! Sounds like you're actually doing pretty good, man. Up 4,000, now, now only down 700 from where you... 700 from the four? Like 700 total out of the 900 that you invested. Chris, I'm in Ohio. I'm in Ohio as well. That was advocate, maybe not life changing. Oh, but it's rather insanely profitable. Dude, I like insanely profitable, man. Please talk about Saitama and UFO Gaming Coin. Uh, Saitama and UFO Gaming Coin are actually both trending on social media and have a lot of articles written about them. Uh, I don't think Saitama's got the same level of projects going on that UFO Gaming does. So if you want a coin that I think has more potential than just being a meme, I'd go UFO. I know that probably makes a lot of people with Saitama mad, but Saitama, guys, it's got 100 times the coins outstanding that Shiba Inu does, and I know it's doing very well. I believe it's got a $3 billion market cap right now, but it, uh, it, you know, you're not going to, don't get fooled by the fact that you think you can reach a penny on Saitama and things like that. And, and you can hold a hundred times more than you can on Shiba Inu coin. Ohio isn't as bad as Kentucky. B boom! Is anybody from Kentucky in here? Ohio ranks what? Second to last on the list? Dojalon Mars, Paolo Jr. I do not own any Dojalon Mars, but a lot of people do like Dojalon Mars. Dojalon Mars sitting around a $1 billion market cap. Well, actually, I don't know where it's at today. I say these, but I'm talking about yesterday's numbers. All these things could have gotten ripped. All these coins could have gotten ripped lately. Uh, yeah, those on Mars down 10% today, sitting on a market cap of about $755 million. Gotcha. Come on. Thanks for your thoughts on Saitama. JB, I knew you'd be satisfied by my thoughts on Saitama. I tried to rephrase, I tried to phrase my question better on a Twitter DM for you, Clay. Devil's Advocate, that might be a little bit better. I don't know if it is a little bit better or not, but it might work out a little bit better for me. Okay, so inflation means there's more money as a whole, which means the value of each is lower. Yes, supply and demand. I understand that. Perfect. What I don't understand is how this doesn't affect everything. So say you invest in a stock. The stock is worth $10. Now the actual $10 in cash is worth $9. Wouldn't the stock just compensate, meaning inflation would trickle out, so to speak, in each equilibrium I mentioned in chat? I guess I fail to understand how things can be safer places for your money than others when things like this happen. How does it not affect everything equally? Uh, because it's where the money goes. Okay, it's where the money goes. You are you're correct, right? So if you've got a if you've got a stock that's worth ten dollars, why wouldn't that stock be worth less? It would if you can, so if that stock stays at ten dollars, right? So you are you're correct in your in your line of thought. But let's say you do buy a stock, okay? And a stock fluctuate fluctuates different than the dollar does. If you buy that stock and it's ten bucks. And it stays at 10 bucks for an entire year. Never moves, man. I mean, it can go up and down a little bit, right? But it's still $10 one year later. If you trade that stock back for your dollar again, all of a sudden, that stock didn't hold your value. You know, it was not a hedge against inflation because you still have $10. And your $10 now only buys you 90% of what it bought you last year because the water bottle cost $11. You still can't go out there and buy that water bottle. If you want to hedge against inflation, you need to buy buy something that's actually going to rise in value as well. So, I mean, for just a terrible example, you could start a water bottle factory, right? You could buy water bottles. They're going to rise in value 
by 10%. They're going to they're going to give you the the money. You could sell those water bottles then for $11. And that $11 you have now is essentially the $10 you had last year. So that's your hedge against inflation. The main hedge against inflation that everybody considers like a safe asset, what you should go to is gold, okay? Now, I understand that gold goes up and down in value, but the that's the main hedge against inflation is gold. Now, dude, there's also fees associated with buying and selling gold, so I don't know if it's necessarily that great of a hedge against inflation, but the guys that claim that gold is the way to go claim it because, well, shoot, man, even if the dollar goes to zero and this water bottle costs $50,000, people are still going to want gold out there. They're still going to want gold, and you're going to be able to buy stuff with gold. Uh, Paolo Jr., you're welcome. Uh, which of you on site, Tom? Kirsty. You look like a robot, Kirsty. Kirsty, you look like a robot. Are you a robot? Tell me now. Kirsty, I need to know. You look like a robot. Uh, should I buy Shiba right now? You can, man. You can. We are at a level of support on Shiba. So this 3,000 point per coin level is, is a level of support. So if you want to buy, I say go buy. If you want to wait and be a little bit more conservative, see if we fall through that level of support. I go to Cincinnati and Dayton at least once a month. I live in Indiana. I'm only five minute drive from the Ohio border along Interstate 70. Ohio is so much better than in Indiana, in my opinion. <laughs> Boom, man. That means Ohio is better than Kentucky and Indiana. Third worst on the list now. Nice, Kalani. Nice. Hero, starting to lose hope in AMC squeeze. Been holding and adding since last January. Now at break even was up huge XX, XXX shareholder. Jim, tell me why, man. Tell me why. And I'm not being dumb, right? Tell me why you're losing hope in the squeeze. Is it because we've been here so long? Is it because the price is coming back down? Is it, uh, what's the deal? Uh, do you think the, the short interest isn't high enough? Because I, I need to know where you're coming from to kind of talk about that. Because in all honesty, man, we are in a better position now than we were back then. And the price is just higher right now. So I, I guess if you can articulate why you're losing faith in it, I don't want to debate it, man, but I could at least use it to like to understand where you're coming from and talk about it a little bit and maybe build your confidence back up. Good. There is a, a video version of Investopedia. I was reading it today and it's still nonsense. I learn better if I can hear the explanation of the information. Boom. Chris, like from here or where? Because we don't need no nonsense going on out there, man. Oh, is there a video version? I thought he was saying there is a video version. Uh, Chris, I don't think so, man. I don't think so. I don't know if Investopedia, Investopedia has a YouTube page or if there's literally a YouTube channel or something out there that just explains definitions and just explains different, uh, different things like Investopedia does. That would be a pretty good thing, but I don't know if there is. It's irrelevant to the story, but just to clarify, I want water bottles to keep temperature regulated and have a, and have one of those straws that pop up when you click the button. Dude, that would be a pretty good one. Yeah, man, and then you can just like plug it in. You can just plug it into your USB. It'd be like a little tiny fridge, man. It's not even expensive. Do it. Somebody make that. Regulating temperatures. Yeah. I say somebody should make that. Basically, it's an unspoken, ever-changed sociology agreement being altered at every second by the entire world. Sounds like a joke, but I'm serious. Inflation. Inflation, right? Not the water bottle now. God, I'm so lost. Kirsty, are you in here? JB asked you what 2 plus 2 is. I just had a feeling you're a robot. All I do is ship, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, and I can never get enough. Change. Ship it up, man. Ship it up. Indiana's called nap time for a reason. You got to live here to understand the vibe. Chris, it can't be much different than Ohio, man. Come on. Think about how far we've come in one year. Frodo, we've come extremely far in a year. Tell me why he ain't 
nothing but a heartache. JB, I'll tell you why, man. The presence of a coin is all I need to believe in it, and we are a pioneer of crypto. Fascination land. What? Just don't trust the government or the SEC. This is too big to pay everyone. Thanks, Libra. Look, dude, it is too big to pay everybody if it goes to prices like $100,000. You know, that is too big to pay everybody, man. I'm going to be completely honest. Like, that's just, it's very far-fetched. And I know I got a lot of hate in the beginning for saying that's very far-fetched. I'll probably get it again for, for saying it's far-fetched. I mean, those numbers are far-fetched, man. But if you go to, let's just say, $1,000 a share, right? You, you say, well, how can we get to $1,000 a share? We didn't even get to $100 a share. Well, we never we never had a short squeeze. The shorts didn't cover we had a retail run up where people ran up to $69 and then they all thought it was funny and, and were super immature and decided to sell $69 and that created a lot of selling pressure. Um, you know, but if the shorts are out there covering, let's say you go to $100. That's a 5x increase from where we're at right now. You're going to be sitting on what, like a $70 billion valuation or a, a $50 billion valuation, I think it would be. At, at five at a hundred dollars a share and you get a five hundred billion dollar valuation if it goes to a thousand dollars a share it's not insane to think that they would have to pay out five hundred billion dollars and they really they essentially wouldn't they only have to cover the shares that are shorted so if you put a market order in and it starts to tank back down then dude, you might get filled at 200 if that's the next available share so yeah man it's uh it's not that ridiculous to think that they'll cover a hundred million shares at a thousand dollars. It's not that not not that crazy. Clint, we love you, but as far as you're singing, don't give up your day job. Never, Sarah De Stecroy. Stephanie Bro, what is going on, Stephanie Bro? How you doing? Grandpa Barney says, please keep your day job, my boy. Oh no, I thought you liked my Backstreet Boys. Grandpa Barney, I thought you liked my Backstreet Boys, you know? Tell me why he ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why he ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why I never want to hear. You guys get it. Hello from Brazil, Rubens Freitas. What's going on? Stephanie Bro is from Brazil as well, Rubens. Very nice. We're getting more Brazilians in here. I still believe in crypto. Rubens, me too, man. Hey, what's up, you sexy chest hair, man? You, What's going on, Eric? What's your take on 121.22 potential run-up? All the cool kids are talking about. Side note, have you seen the Spider-Man? I've not seen Spider-Man yet. 121.22. 22. Is this a run-up due to, uh, like, remembrance of GameStop and AMC? Or what run-up are they talking about? I don't think there's any new regulations or anything coming out on January 21st. So are they are they talking about it to commemorate the anniversary of AMC or what? <laughs> Dude, it's like the ultimate rip. It's like the ultimate rip when somebody pays money to send you throw up faces. Oh my god. Oh, Grandpa Barney just ripped me, man. Grandpa Barney just ripped me hard. Grandpa Barney, thank you very much for the support there. I, I really appreciate that super jet. Oh, paying a super jet to throw some throw up faces out there after my singing. I love it, Grandpa Barney. Thank you. Thank you for increasing my confidence there, man. I I really appreciate that. Uh, options chain is... Oh, okay, Eric. You know what, dude? I would not be concerned about a rip higher right now based on any options activity. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I do not think that unless we get a bounce... Because we are like out of the money on a lot of options right now. After yesterday's decline and what we got going on today, man... I would not get terribly excited about options unless we have a very nice rebound. If we get a very nice rebound from here, then yes, I would get a little bit excited about uh, options closing in the money and and having a, the potential for a gamma squeeze at that point. Super sticker from Outdoor Smile. Did Super Sticker have one? Or did Outdoor Smile have one? Oh, Outdoor Smile, my man. I'm very sorry. I did not see that. I must have been doing something, but... Uh, yeah, dude, thank you very much for the...
Outdoor smile. Thank you very much for the super sticker, man. Absolutely appreciate that and very, very sorry that I missed it. I, I really, guys, please remind me if I ever miss a super chat like that. No dates. No dates. Nobody goes on any dates here. Did you see a super sticker from Outdoor Smile? I did now. Cassie, thank you very much for the... Mmm, popcorn. Mm. Thank you very much for the popcorn, Cassie. Absolutely appreciate it. And Grandpa Barney wins my love again. Thank you very much. See, Grandpa Barney really knows how to play with your emotions. I'm telling you, he throws up right in your face, and then he says, oh, it's okay. You can continue singing. <clears throat> All right, I got you, Grandpa Barney. <clears throat> I got you. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. You are. My fire, the one. Never mind, Grandpa Barney, we're not going there. Backstreet Boys for another day. Thank you very much, Grandpa Barney, for making me feel just a little bit better about myself, even though I know you're lying in that one. And you do not love the way I sing. We do love our Grandpa, don't we, Frodo? We love our Grandpa Barney. Thank you very much for the super chat and making me feel a little bit better after throwing up. I love it, dude. Thank you. Popcorn and honor the AMC Day tweets I am seeing today. Cassie, yes, everybody is tweeting AMC Day. And uh, what was the deal last time? Yeah, last time AMC Day was, was trending, AMC was up, I guess, 15%. And we were trying to get back up above $60 per share. Now we are bouncing nicely off that 20 Yes, we're turning back down around down right now, and, and we're going to be, I guess, battling break even again here in a second. But uh, AMC Day is tweeting. Uh, no more songs, please. Crypto. Bruno, I got you, man. I got you, Backstreet Boys. Back, back, streets, back. All right. That was not even me singing. I was reading Devil's Advocate's message there. Almost out of water. What am I going to do? What am I going to do if I run out of water? I have to start I'm going to have to stop talking. Moon tomorrow? Yes, JB. Moon tomorrow. No dates, but for sure, soon moon, moon tomorrow. Oh, man, we got it. Did you see my last comment? Devin. No. Have you looked into Zombie Inu yet? Nick Carter shilled it to Gary V this last week. Nick Carter, man. Nick Carter. Backstreet Boys. No, I actually have not looked into Zombie Inu too much. Let's pull up Zombie Inu right now. Pull up Zombie Inu right now. Down 8% right now. Could be a pretty good buying opportunity. Only $82 million market cap. Relatively cheap. And it is sitting 20, or the trading volume is actually almost $2 million in the last 24 hours. That's not bad at all. Um, Fully diluted market cap is up to $142 million. All right, not too bad there. Uh, let's see. All right, so it's still double the price it was just like three weeks ago. Zombie Inu has been out since October, so it's technically not doing too bad, man. Pretty steady graph. I mean, if you guys want to see the graph, we got a pretty steady graph on Zombie Inu here. A lot of people excited about it back here, right after Shiba Inu and all the hype going on throughout uh, November. Pulling back a little bit, but really starting to, to level off and, and trend higher from where we're at right now. Zombie Inu could be could be decent. It's on Ethereum, so you're gonna get hit with some some gas fees. But not doing not doing too bad at all. What do we got? One quadrillion? Million, billion, trillion, quadrillion. Yeah, one quadrillion, exactly like Shiba Inu coin. I wonder if they're ever gonna burn any of that. Dude, where does Nick Carter get zombie inu? I know that dude is a crypto guy. I like your energy. Kindly! I like you. Thanks for being in here. Where do you get zombie Inu? Pancake swap? I'm sure you can pancake swap it. I oh, can get on the Binance Smart Chain too. You might want to get Binance pegged. Take advantage of the price, no gas fees. I'd go that route. Zombie Inu.io. I'm sure you can click buy it there. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Look at that picture. Kind of cool. Right? Twenty five thousand holders to going for fifty thousand. All right. Blue 
Flu's trade. You could get it through Flu's trade, or I'm sure you could pancake swap it. But look at GME, Clay. What's GME doing? We got GME down here on the bottom right. My face is always covering it up, though, so you can't see it. Let's go over to GME and see what they got going on. Sitting up 5% right now. GME really pulling back, guys. Let's pull it up right here because GME was down to about $121 per share at the open this morning. Boom, falling hard along with all other stocks. Bouncing back very nicely. This is exactly like the... The, the Rona bounce we had back in March of 2020. Everything fell just like that. And then over the course of the next year, bounced just like this, man. So top down or bottom down at 121.15 this morning. And now sitting at 136. 136.47 already. What a crazy recovery. My gosh. Anybody buy the dip on GameStop this morning and riding it up from 121 already? Up 15 bucks? Sitting up 15%. Dang. Not bad at all, my friends. Not bad at all. Grandma Barney, GameStop looking pretty good today. Up 5% on the day. <whistles> NASDAQ up half a percent right now. Is this even uploaded? I don't know. Or uploaded. Is this even updated? Yeah, 24, 22. Kind of sitting sideways there. No good. Huh. Let's see. Cripple Barney, thank you very much for the super chat, man. Absolutely appreciate it. It's on both blockchains. Burns happen on every transaction. Triple A game in the works. NFTs. Augmented reality, etc. Devin, sounds, sounds like they got a lot going on, man. And an 80, $84 million market cap, I think it said. So, guys, you could still 10x and only hit an $800 million market cap. You could 100x and still only be worth half the price of Shiba Inu coin right now. So, a lot of potential there. Looks like a Funko Pop. It did, man. I thought it was pretty cool, though. Where's, where am I at? Doesn't it look pretty cool? Looks like a sweet zombie Inu, man. Does look cool. Playing that She Burn playlist on the daily. Akeem, very nice. Make sure. Make sure you play it with volume, though. Looking for additional market content? Check out Frank's channel. I got $2 prog calls for April today. Oh, when we hit $1.92. Almost got that dip perfect. At least for now. I'm sure it'll age worse than, age worse than warm lettuce. No, 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 man. It's going to be good. You're going to make a crap ton of money on those prog calls. We are not bouncing back down at all. Although... You probably, when do they expire? You're doing pretty good, man. You did pretty good on that one. It's almost as epic as my fill. Almost as epic as my fill. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? I know I missed something. Any relation to Aaron Carter? I want candy. Nope, no relation whatsoever. Nick Carter? Nah. Clint, what price do you th we think will be enticing enough for the shorts to start covering? Whatever they think the value is, man. I, if it's six bucks, it's gonna be six bucks. If they start to think that AMC is worth ten bucks, I think they're gonna hold out till ten bucks. It's gonna be whatever the value is that really entices them to to cover their shares of AMC. April monthly. Nice. Question is, how long you holding? How long you holding? Certain price point? You hold until April? What's the deal? Why can't AMC have a rise like GME? Oh, it can, man. It can. And it probably will, too. I mean, we're, we're up half a percent right now. Is that what we got? We're up one percent right now. We can get another five percent increase, another dollar. Yeah, if we go back up to twenty-four dollars, we'll be right exactly where GME's at. I'm out. I'm out. No more water. Once the rug pole chasers learn, they will come back to Sheba. I don't know if the rug pole chasers will ever learn change, but if they do, then yes. But look, you guys can you guys can make money chasing rug poles too. You just got to get out before they pull the rug. I mean, it's it's risky, but dude, you can't expect to make 10, 20, 30x gains without risking your money. Like, you just cannot do that. You you have to know, if you're setting up for a potential 10x, you're in a very risky play. And if you get in late, you can drop. If you wait too long to sell, you can drop. I mean, there's 
there should be risk associated with any investment that's going to 10x your money. I mean, it's like these scammers, dude. They tell you they're going to just send you two, two times your money back for doing nothing. There's risk associated with that. They can either send you two extra money back or they're going to take your money and run. Probably hold till June and lose all of my money. Hashtag ombre and let's get it, man. Don't hold till June and lose all your money. Come on now, Devil's Advocate. Make money. Might be the coolest non-member here. Mitch! You gotta go big. Go big or go home. Mitch, man. It's about time. It's about time. I don't know if you're on iPhone or Android. It's about time you come remember, man. The coolest non-member here. Shoot. Join the channel, become a bro. We're here every single day, and we're growing our portfolios together. Get that green name, Mitch. Do it, man. How do I find some rug pulls like Zombie Inu? Uh, Bearded Dad Beard Company, man. It, there are new coins being listed. And look, we're not calling Zombie Inu. For Devin and everybody out there, we're not calling Zombie Inu a rug pull. Okay, a rug pull means that they pull out the liquidity and the coin goes to nothing, and the developers or the, the guys that started it run off with all your money. We're not calling Zombie Inu a rug pull, but it is it is risky. It's newer, very small market cap, and so on. But let's uh, let's look at one of the ways you can go out there and and find some newer coins like there. First, fake coin trivia 2022. I swear we did one already. D. I'm calling D. Fake one. Let's go. Whale. Chicken. Frog, dolphin. I'm still going dolphin. I'm still going D. Grandpa Barney! Thank you very much for the super chat, Grandpa Barney. Hey, family, if they run together, which everyone squeezes first, it will drag the other one with it, and all the others. Hedgehog will lose control. Forget about the hedgehogs out there, man. They're going to lose control because we're going to squeeze them all at the same time. It is true. Grandpa Barney is right. Now, I don't know if they're all going to move like, you know, one-to-one -one ratios. But if GameStop does get some sick action, AMC is, a lot, is likely to get a lot of attention. And people trying to jump into AMC and not miss the train. They missed it on GameStop, jump into to AMC. If AMC starts ripping, people might jump into a or GameStop because they don't want to miss out on what could happen to GameStop. So there is going to be a lot of FOMO buying going on in all of these different stocks if if one of them squeezes before the other and so on. You will have a lot of a lot of buyers going out there and trying to get in non-missed opportunities. Very similar to the beginning of 2021. When GameStop started ripping. Kindly! Thank you very much for the super chat. Absolutely appreciate that, Kindly. If you wanted to check, guys, make sure that if Kindly has a chat, I do not miss it. So please, somebody, if Kindly, if you got something out there, shout out, a question, whatever it was, please make sure I see that if you wanted to get it out. If not, thank you very much. Absolutely appreciate it. But if record-breaking people quit their jobs, one, besides what the government gave out, how is there more money in the economy? And two, what are they all doing so I can quit my job? Just keep staying patient. Uh, yes, Chris, please do not quit your job just yet. Um, but the, it's, it is the government, man. The government pays a lot of money. You quit your job right now, you, you're getting, you were getting, and I don't think that they still have all the COVID relief, but there were a lot of people that were receiving more in unemployment than they, they were working because of the COVID bonuses. So that is why a lot of people quit. Then they realized, oh shoot, man, why would I ever want to go back to work when I can just not go back to work and still get money? So that, that's the reason, dude. It does have a lot to do with what the government was paying out. Uh, Dolphin is the correct answer. 100% oh, for the year. JB, dude. Mic drop. L literal. Mic. No, I'm not dropping this mic, dude. That would be dumb. Uh, we should just mic drop it right there. 100% on the year. We are making 2022 the best year ever. We are making 2022 the best year ever. We are making 2022 the best year ever. God, dude, what's going on with my phone? I don't get this, man. Kindly tell my son to stop singing. <laughs> I love you, Clay. Grandpa Barney. Love you too, man. And I will stop singing when you stop listening to me singing. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to sing again. Grandma Barney, thank you very much for the super chat. Absolutely appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> kindly thank you thank you for the hearts appreciate those uh important notice clay nice looking lady customer came in keep it going saw my desktop screen but muted said oh you do crypto who is that guy it's clay bro boom tell her to come outdoor smile i got you man i got you tell her to come in here i'll hook you up all day long Outdoor Smile, actually the biggest baller in the Tampa area, loves the cryptocurrency market, loves the stock market. I'm telling you right now, this dude knows what's going on. AMC Trapper says, please. AMC Trapper's but AMC Trapper asked very nicely. AMC Trapper, absolutely. A lot of people are older and choose to retire for their safety during COVID or are a dead and don't want crap frontline jobs. And no one wants to work. It's an extreme oversimplification in my opinion. That is an extreme oversimplification of my opinion. Uh, poll time. We got five minutes. Where's the YouTube? Where's YouTube? Let's see how oversimplified this is. We get oversimplified even more. I want to know now, the real question is, do more people want to work or do more people, or have more people not visited Montana? We got to see which one has the higher percentage here. Clint, can you clip all of your singing and make a solo video so I can listen to it online? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can do it. I'll go through there. I'll clip it all. We'll make it a Shiba Burn playlist or something. And so you guys can just put that on repeat all night long, dude, all night long. Just a, a huge compilation of every song that I've ever done. And then you guys have to keep the volume on or headphones. Let's see. A voice of an angel, Clay. Voice of an angel. Frodo. Frodo's my friend, man. Frodo is my friend. Freddy. Boom. Dabbing on him, man. Grabbed another 200 million Shiba. Oh, 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 24 last night. Very nice, dude. Giddy up. <laughs> Giddy up. Clay, put something on your wall. A poster, perhaps. Mitch, get a green name, and I'll put a poster. I don't have a poster. I don't have a poster. I, I do have something in the works, though. We will be getting something on the wall. No worries there. Gosh, Grandpa Barney loves everyone here. You are all not freaking out like other groups. Well done, fam. I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you. Grandpa Barney, there is something different about this group. There's something different. For real. Now, give it a super Freddy and Trapper after my third... <laughs> Good to know, Freddy. Good to know. Guys, if you ever go out with Freddy, uh, with uh, Diffie, make sure that Diffie only gets at least two wines, okay? Only two. He's got to limit it to two, please. Holding 166 million Shiba. Let's go, Cedric. Not going to lie. I'd actually 99.99 super check it to make him stop singing. You know what that makes me want to do, Diffy Dog? You know what that makes me want to do. Yep. <clears throat> if I'm going to be treated like poo is a cashier, then they better treat their employees better and pay more. For now, I prefer to be self-employed, but poor artists instead of minimum wage job. We love being poor artists, don't we? We love it. What is the poll at? Is it more than 90? 55. 50. Hold on. I, I, I got to change this. You guys clearly you guys clearly misunderstood that. Okay, now let's see what you're saying here. God, I'm telling you, you guys got to be so stinging specific. It's ridiculous. Who is the William Hung of the trading world? <clears throat> uh, Devil's Advocate. William Hung was a fellow on a show called American Idol. 
All right. Now, you may not know of this historical event that took place, but it was very large. It was a very, very big show back in the day. And uh, <laughs> he sang some song like, uh, you, you know, I forget how it goes. She bang, she bang, oh baby, when she move, she move. It was a very good song. Very catchy. Viral. Viral. Perhaps one of the first viral videos that was out there. And uh, thank you very much for comparing me to one of the greatest singers. One of the most viral artists of all time. Absolutely appreciate that. I'll take that compliment all day. All day. People mess with you, Clint. Dude, I think they might be Nick F. I don't know, man. I think they might be. I think these people might be messing with me. <laughs> Thank you, Clint. And everyone, catch you on the next one. It's 1 o'clock, Saif. I didn't even know it was 1 o'clock, man. Thank you guys very much for being in here. We are taking off. Get those votes out there right now. I knew that no percentage would be a little bit higher now. Let's get the names in the chat. We'll get some shout-outs going, guys. We will be back in a couple of hours. Thank you very much for hanging out. Thank you very much for not freaking out. Thank you very much for having a good time in here. And uh, we get a shout-out to Freddie, Mitch, Nick F, guest name, Saif, Freddie, again, uh, Christopher, Frank, Divvy Dog, Bearded Dad, Beard Company, AMC, Trapper, Divvy Dog, Devil's Advocate. Let's get this out of here so I can actually see the poll or see the see the stuff we got going on here no 76 very good percentage i like it and amc trevor says peace out to the diamond handed apes grandpa barney thank you for the super chat 6th of january and over 100 hours over time oh my god i do not understand how grandpa parney uh, grandpa parney grandpa barney finds more hours in a day than I can find in a week. It is ridiculous. Grandpa Barney, tell me your secrets, man. Tell me your secrets. And that is an amazing amount of overtime. Grandpa Barney has one of the best work ethics I've ever seen. Paul, man, Bearded Dad, Beard Company, Danelle, Frodo, Christopher, Guest Name, Freddy, Cassie, John, Crypto Racketeer, boom, dabbing on him like always. John, Vi uh, Victoria. Victoria, how you doing? Chris, Am Cool, Begging Try and see you later, Chris. Uh, Rubens, Frank, see you. All right, you guys know what time it is, so if you want to say it with me, say it with me. Until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.